friends and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! Welcome again to another Hero Spotlight and today we're gonna be talking about the dark horse of the game, the face of the game, the very best free unit that you get and one of the best damage dealers in the game. It's a little bit underrated because all of the hype of the new banners or the coming banners, oh there's a banner we can pick up this, they forgot about this unit. And this case is no other than Fenriru. Now I'm gonna go to Fenriru and talk about her through the vibration arms because it's the best to showcase the artifice and everything so let's talk about fenriru fenriru is a bifrost unit she's a dps aoe damage massive aoe damage unit she's the second best true damage dealer in the game and this is why she's highly important on this unit. of course she needs investment for her true damage to shine and her true damage comes a little bit near to griff but she needs a little bit of time to scale to get to Griff, while Griff she can one tap from the start of the game. So the second best damage dealer in the game in long fights is Fenriru so far. Nobody else can do the same. Even Aiken cannot do the same of what Fenriru can do. And we'll be talking why that, and especially when you're scaling and fighting long fights. We tried it. We tried it when she's maxed out on stars. We tried Aiken when she's maxed out on stars on a 20 round fight and Fenriru by far was the second the best damage dealer of course when you put griff griff doubled the damage of fenriru since griff is already broken so let's be talking about her and i will describe her why and i will tell you the logic why is she like this and all of this are facts are with testing i'm not speaking with anything i'll try to do test runs and show you the picture show you the numbers we couldn't do that because it wasn't on my account and it was a different account so i couldn't record anything on it we did the tests live on discord so now i'm gonna show you just and explain to you all the skills and why she's that much important. So, her artifice, first of all. So, if you start her up, you're gonna check that she gets everything that the carry needs, actually, for dealing damage, a little bit of survivability. So, she gains crit rate, damage bonus on two stars, three stars she gets hit rate, and she will never have problems with his hit rate, by the way. And we'll be speaking about her skills, why she's one unit that doesn't need a lot of hit rate. What you need to build her on is strictly attack. Now, she has pierce, so she can uh, go through blocks. She has crit rate, crit damage, and block reduction, so she doesn't just go through blocks. She reduces the block for the characters in front of her by 35%, so she will allow others to hit damage and go through their uh, block. Absolutely amazing. Why she's so much useful, and you can slap her on any lineup? Because she has links, which are completely free to play, or uh, free using, so you can immediately at the start of the ga uh, game you have Snejana, and Sova and get an increase of HP on her so more, for more survivability. Of course, if you have Vivi, Vivi is easy to get. I still didn't get it, awkward, but it's fine. So having Vivi, it will increase her attack. Having Yulia, it will increase her attack as well by 18%, so it's double the times. And having Kiki will increase her resistance against magical damage. Now you're gonna see here, oh, against magical damage, so you can counter her with physical. Yes and no, because she will develop armor, and we'll be talking about this by her passive, and she will be versus the uh, the physical and versus the magical damage as well. So true damage might be the one that would shut her down immediately. The others will take time for her to actually go through and die. Now she's a Bifrost, as we said. So the first skill, she support Bifrost. Bifrost team members get resistance plus 10 again against magical damage, which means physical damage have a little bit of upper hand because it's not armor even if she's not deployed. And then 10% of attack, 10% of attack for all team members, which is absolutely crazy. This is at four stars, I think, or uh, two stars. And this is at four stars or four stars and six stars. This is at two stars. So, uh, or one star. Let's talk about her auto attack, first of all. So her auto attack or her first skill, which is the auto attack. She, f uh, she hits a single row of enemies, which means two units and increase her attack range by one permanently stacking up to one. So if you have her at zero stars, she will hit and stack it up to one time. It means she will hit one more target. When we say range here, it means additional targets. So she strikes three targets at two stars or at one star, uh, zero stars at two stars, she stacks it up to two times. It means if you have her at two stars, she will hit four enemies with her auto attack, which is absolutely great. At four stars, she stack it up to four times. It means she hit the six enemies with her auto attack. Every auto attack hits six enemies. Now, why is this important? We'll be talking why having her at four stars is important because of her passive, because she scales insanely with damage. Now, let's talk about her ultimate. First of all, her skill, her special skill. She attacks with physical damage, deal 160% physical damage to four random units. Random units on the board. So no matter where you put her on the board, you don't need to reposition her So for, for you to hit specific units on the board. She will always hit four random units with additional 100%, 120% through damage. 
true damage is king in this game is everything about this game you can't counter it with armor you can't counter it with resistance it doesn't matter with shields she will still hit damage she will melt shields actually because of the true damage now you would tell me like they didn't say of her attack of her or or if her, uh, of her hp the true damage scales i'm telling you with testing i've done the testing you gotta trust me on my word probably there will be a text saying attack but it's due to her attack the more that you put her on attack the more the true damage will stack up it's 120 percent true damage not of the physical damage of the attack percentage that she has so if you build her more on attack this true damage will be higher so at zero stars it's 100 at one stars 120 at three stars which is the pinnacle point which you, where you need to utilize her at three stars she becomes perfect absolutely perfect so she hits four random enemies 140 percent uh, true damage she gains high explosive bomb for the entire battle not just only one time this will save for her for the entire battle so normal attacks and skills everything that she does deals extra true damage what i said i said about this this will see this uh, have the the bomb and will deal extra true damage everything about her will deal extra true damage so how much is the extra true damage at three stars it's by 40 percent of her attack here we go they say attack so my theory was completely perfect with my testing so she deals 40 percent more of her attack as true damage stacking up to two times what does stacking up to to two times mean this high explosive happens twice it happens in the in the battle and it's for the entire battle it happens twice stacking up two times so it means 80 percent of her attack is de dealt as true damage with normal attacks and her skill which makes her a beast at three stars she becomes a beast so what happens on three stars on three stars she out damage aiken on the long run of course not i will be talking why not only because of these skills i will be talking about different skills because of her passive as well she will be uh, out damaging kiki she will be out damaging every other support that deal damage we did still didn't test against neftis if neftis her overhealing does more damage than the true damage that she does we'll be doing this later i don't have any friend that max neftis to the to the to the brim so at five stars six stars at seven stars the seven stars what i need to talk about is that she gains additional 50 percent hit rate now this attack additionally has a hit rate which is her ultimate so every time she casts her ultimate she has 50 percent hit rate which means she will rarely or never miss her attack and it will have her explosive stack up to five times by 80 percent of her attack so 80 percent times five of her true damage so true damage that's the true damage it means she will shred every single unit on the long run which is absolutely crazy what also makes her even better it is her passive at the start of here we go let's read at tier at tier one where's tier zero so i have her at tier tier six i unlocked her perfectly so let's be talking about her so it starts at 10 percent, i guess 10 percent. yeah here see so at the start of the odd numbered rounds armor and resistance increased by 10 percent and at the start of even rounds attack is increased by 10 percent the bonuses last for the entire battle it doesn't go for two rounds one round or something with each bonus stacking up two times so this goes to 20 this to 20 so if you get it to augment six and every unit on my lineup as free to play on my half of the or or the start of my second month i have them at augment six it means this is achievable so easy if you play a little bit if you reach like uh level 65 or 66 on your account this will be perfectly if you're farming it every day so at the start of odd numbers uh armor and resistance by 20 percent and then on uh even numbers uh 20 percent on attack odd it means round one round three round five round seven etc etc even numbers it means round two round four round six round eight etc etc so it stacks up to three times it means 60 percent of uh armor and magical and physical resistance and 20 percent 60 percent attack bonus and what does attack bonus do it increases her true damage here and here why does she gain true damage here if you unlock her to three stars you need her at least to three stars or go all the way for seven stars so she will deal true damage with all of her attacks and this will shred everything and this is why fenriru the the smart players that are ranking up and destroying everybody that has kiki and aiken they're preferring fenriru right now and fenriru is the way to go trust me people aiken is great she's best for pve for pvp this is your way this is your ticket she can shred enemies like nobody else imagine having griff dealing all the true damage and fenriru maxed out dealing true damage who cares anymore play levia on your lineup play pan pan play chiraha play audrey you're safe you're safe your lineup she she and griff will carry your entire team absolutely a monster unit now her arms what does her arms her arms is ppf 41 now at zero stars it deals uh, for her special only for her ultimate she deals extra five percent damage 
Now, where does it go crazy? It goes crazy when you get it to three stars. What happens on three stars? She doesn't only deal 15% max damage, she gains lifesteal. So 20% of, da of the damage inflicted by Fenrir heals herself, lasting for the entire battle. She will gain permanently lifesteal. You need three stars on her weapon. It's a main thing. This is the most important weapon, in my opinion, of the weapons that I've seen to a unit for survivability. Trust me, she will say 20% she will say at full HP because of the true damage that she does. She will say at full HP, get her weapon to three stars. Trust me what I'm telling you. Replace any carry that you have. Put her on main lineup in the front. Let her tank and check how she never dies. She never dies. She will start healing and healing. And if you have another healer or shielder on your lineup, she's immortal. She's absolutely immortal. Only unit that can contest her and one shot her is not Kiki, of course. It's Griff with her true damage. If she scales with Levia's buff. So that's the only way that we've seen it. We've done so many testing. I can't believe people are sleeping on Fenriru and I intentionally tried to make Fenriru before I wanted to make Audrey and Vivi because they are the meta and been used but Fenriru is the dark horse of the game and at 5 stars she becomes with 30% lifesteal and 20% extra damage for her ultimate absolutely insane now the only small thing that I would hope for them in the future to release for her is to give her one spot for herself in the leisure center to get that extra passive that we look for to make her that OP ridiculous unit. Now she's here, used here to buff Aiken, not to buff herself. So hopefully in the future they add something here like somewhere that doesn't have anybody and they're up, not released. Here's is uh, Hathor, but maybe that we will have a tree for her in the future. There's a lot of space that we can utilize here. So hopefully she gets that. Uh, she have a skin also. Her skin gives her ultra attributes. Now let's talk about her gears. What do you need to build her on gears? Of course the attack set plus you want to max this first, of course, when you have the uh, transmute and you can use anything, you're going to max the first one of the attack because you're going to get the attack at king. The chimera. Hit rate is okay, but what you need... Fenriru is the unit that I would tell you, build on attack and crit rate. Attack, crit rate, crit damage. Attack, crit rate, crit damage as much as possible. Damage bonus will inflict all the overall damage bonus. The total of the true damage will be addition to it 11%. But if you have attack, it will be multiplied the twice when you double your passives and your active skills together. So attack bonus is better than the damage bonus. Damage bonus, she takes 11 plus the 5 and she takes the 8% here. But if you have attack, let's say these are attack. So 11% by 5% by the 20% from the weapon or uh, from her passive, uh, the 60% from her passive plus from her actives. The 10% or the 20% from her actives multiplied by these effects. So you need to build her on attack and crit rate and crit damage. And it's a GG WP. Your Fenriru is OP. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.